let's have a quick session as to how to utilize the postmaster in getting alerts by making it run a self-diagnostic check of the postmaster system to enable so first log in as an admin Once you have logged in, go to Postmaster, Core Settings, Scheduler, and here you'll get the option Self Diagnostic. If you enable the Self Diagnostic, then it will allow Postmaster to run a Self Diagnostic check and report you regarding any errors or successful uh, diagnostic check via email alerts, which are related to the settings mentioned below. Hence, reducing your pain to manually hunt for the same for your postmaster system. Schedule every 60 minutes means that after what time interval, postmaster will again run the self-diagnostic check. And the system, you have the system settings that will the postmaster run related to the threads or the memory allocated to your postmaster system. Now, the threads are the main connections that are coming from the various uh, users who are trying to access to your server. So this thread actually refers to the number of users and the system configuration that you have. For example, under live threads, if you can check that the threshold has been set to 66 and the status is 94. That means if this live thread connection is more than the threshold that is the minimum intensity or the value of the system that we have set then you will receive an alert for this live thread similarly for the allocated memory that we have is 996 mb and the threshold that we have set is 100 so if the allocated memory is less than the 100 mb then you will receive an alert for your cpu usage we have kept a benchmark under threshold that is 85% utilization. So if the postmaster CPU usage is more than 85% then you will get an alert. The last check refers to the self diagnostic check that has been uh, overtaken or that has been taken by the postmaster itself. Under services, you have the number of services that you have in our postmaster. So you can enable the service as per the service or the server that you are using in your postmaster for your requirement. Again, the status and the last check that will be shown to you as per the server that is running. And under not running, since that is it will show you the time after which running the self-diagnostic check by the postmaster, the server was not running. Then you have these pools. Pools refers to this pool bucket that we have in Postmaster. Now we have enabled this option as per our requirements. This status gives you the last check when the self-diagnostic mode was being taken care by the Postmaster. Now here we have uh, set the minimum threshold for the spool bucket that we have here. Then under parts, you have the parts which are mentioned for your log spool users and archive. So if you want to have a self-diagnostic check of all the parts that are uh, mentioned under this section, you can enable this option and have a report from the postmaster directly. Then alert display user interface. If you enable this, then the user who logs in into the web mail will receive the alert regarding your self-diagnostic. If you are logged into your web mail and if this option is enabled, then the user will receive the self-diagnostic alert. Now, the main important part which comes in is whom to send the alert. So you enable this option and mention the email ID where the postmaster will automatically send in alerts related to all the settings that you have mentioned above. So this will definitely reduce your pain of manually going deeper into the machine configuration and find out the statistical reports related to your system configurations of your postmaster. Then under schedule error log, if you enable this, if you want to receive any error, uh, error uh, re re uh, related log, then you can enable it, put in the email ID. And if you want a specific time to which the postmaster will be sending you an alert, you can set it here. Under check now, if you want to have a report right at the go, you can click on check now and postmaster will generate the report for you. 
once you have done all your uh, requirement settings under the setup diagnostic mode you can click on confirm and save your settings one thing that we will discuss over here is about the free space in your postmaster machine here you can see the statistical report that is the last attempt status next schedule then under check details you can check what is the space that you uh, have in your postmaster drive followed by database and archive of your postmaster now the settings that we have is here that is this is the partition of your pme drive database drive archive if you want the postmaster to run an automatic mode to set you an alert you can set it automatic over here and check after what x minutes the postmaster will run this free space utilization the warning size limit refers to the limit of size that you have mentioned over here for your free space now the warning mail if it has to go it will go to the symbol id to what you have mentioned by checking this checkbox if you want to enable the quick message you can do the same by enabling option the critical size limit is the maximum or the critical limit that the postmaster has reached in terms of free space so if you want to enable that you can set the size and what action will be taken once the critical size has limit has been reached that is whether to stop service or shut down so you can choose as per your requirement then similarly you can uh, just click on confirm save your settings and if you want to have a quick view of the reports right now you can click on check now and all the reports related to your self-diagnostic or free space will be sent to the particular user for which email id you have mentioned in your postmaster this brings us to the end of our video in case if you face any difficulty in uh, configuring the same or you need any other assistance related to other uh, features of postmaster you are always welcome to drop us a mail at support at qlc.net thank you